Got a bunch of birds flying to the uh, east again. Look at that. That's a, that's a real strange. That's a gold and silver sun angle right there. See that big long line right there with the clouds? There's a cutter right there. Look, there's some more of them birds right there. See them? I think those are seagulls. Um, I think in a book called Sack and Azarus, it talks one of the, one of the weird signs is that the animals will switch places from where they used to be. They'll just all of a sudden just show up in weird spots. That's one of the uh that's one of his warnings. What was the other one? You'll see blood in the wood. And uh, I had a tree with limb fall down in the center of it. Man, it was red. It was blood colored. Which is, uh, you know, I don't know if that's a normal occurrence or what. Ugh. Or if it was just because that thing absorbed the fence. I don't know. It was maybe the iron from the fence or something when it rusted or I feel like that's what my guess was in resins from the sap look there's more of them look at them look at them oh yeah that was awesome right there got to see them fight a little bit hopefully that picked it up they started fighting right in the middle of the sky that was pretty fucking crazy how in the heck did they pull that off Whoa, without falling down <laughs> oh look morse code trail yeah buddy that's like finding uh what the fuck are those mushrooms man that uh you can freaking eat uh, morales or something Look at that, look at that scalar tract. Morse code, and you also got the the sun, or not the sun, but the sky split, split into two sections. Look at that, see the kata going in there, and you can even see at the end of the kata, there's a tail going into this thing right there that black oh that black shadowy looking thing there there's another scalar track back there you can see it scalar tracks are very rectangular shaped sometimes you might get circle ones too but it seems like the ones that I see the most man are like rectangular and if you get your rectangular at the right angle it'll look like a triangle you know what I mean? You can see the freaking uh, frequency pattern. There's a uh, one pattern. You know, there's another. Look, literally, that looks like someone is taking a big uh, washcloth and wiping away the cloud there in the sky. You got that silver, gold. I've noticed they've taken on these fucking new light characteristics like the color of it man it's always really a rosy goldy colored and then these silver things been popping up even like these strange dark dark glowing blacks too and dark grays man like seen some really strange stuff well Oh, look at this right here. Look at this. This, uh, I don't know why that looks so weird, but for some reason, just sticks out. It's kind of like when you find, oh, there's, there's a great example of frequency right there. When it really breaks up into these tiny little, um, uh, lines there, that's when, see, this is one frequency, but here they hit it with two frequencies and it scatters it. 
That's almost, look, that almost looks like it's trying to spell a word. Tell me it isn't. More silver and gold sunset. And then up here, what's this white color? You know? Yeah, it also looks like the color of clay. Look, actually yellow clay, miry clay from the earth. Listen, the iron and clay, too. In a way. I don't know, man. These are the things that uh, when I pop on the spiritual lens glasses, see these things popping up. These are the type of things that come to mind. More than birds. I wonder if they're all running away from this, whatever this is. Is that a possibility? Maybe that is why they're always running. Because maybe there's some kind of fucking sub, sub fucking frequency, harmonic, that, ooh, you can see it blasting through here too. Ooh. Some, some <laughs> sub harmonic frequency that uh, drives the birds uh, away from this location where you get the, these crazy effects. Like up here, you can see it getting. That's rippled out. That's a double wave because you can see these ripple waves here, ripple waves here, but over here, there's the ripple, but you can see it fading into this like liquid fire in a way. Uh, that's when two, two rays overlap, like right here. That's what it looks like when two rays overlap. And when you get waves like in an ocean, that's one ray, but... When you get when you get two cross and pass, man, you'll get a different pattern. It's like when you throw a bunch of stones in the water in a way. But it's they make these same kind of ripple shapes in the atmospheric in the air, basically. Like you can see another rectangular lit up spot right here. And then it's blasting out over here. So ooh. Man, there's, uh, it's blasting in here. It's coming out here. See it? There goes the camera right there. I wonder if it's a holographic camera. It's what? There, wait. Holographic cam trailer. Well, I don't know about that, but. Ooh. Yeah, definitely strange looking stuff and look you got yeah that's like silver and iron and bronze more like Definitely right here. This is silver lining on a cloud, which is crazy. That, how that works. There's that camera. He's on his way back. But that is funny that all them birds was going in the opposite direction of whatever's going on right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, you can see them all over the place, the waves. This whole area is getting blasted with a wave. Over here. You can see it right there too. Look, more birds. 
Going eastward. Going eastward. Whoa, look at all the birds going eastward. Okay. Okay, here's another thing, potentially. Maybe all these birds have been here because they're getting away from the caldera area. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of birds right now. Oh, wow. Can't believe it. Look at that. Or are they flying away from the sun itself? Ooh, I gotta start some fresh real quick. 